We're here with Jennifer Hall, and Jennifer's with the Area on Aging, and she runs the SHIP program. How are you, Jennifer? Good morning, Renee. I'm great. Good How are you? morning. I'm great. I was hoping that you would be able to make reservations for me on a cruise ship, but I'm understanding that this is totally different. I think the line would be really long if that was the case, but <laughs> I wish it was. Isn't um, that the truth? Actually, SHIP stands for State Health Insurance Assistance Program, and there's one in every county in the state. Okay, yeah. all right then. So Jennifer, tell me, who would qualify for the services? Okay, well SHIP is a free health benefits counseling service for all Medicare beneficiaries, their families and their caregivers. Our mission is to educate, advocate, counsel, and empower people to make informed benefit decisions, you know, as far as their health care goes. Um, anyone can qualify as long as you're either on Medicare, so you would be a senior citizen, or if you're 18 and older and are on Medicare. So what happens is once someone's on disability for 24 months, they automatically are um, put into the Medicare program, whether they want to or not. So a lot of times we see a lot of seniors, but we would like to see even more younger folks who are you know, basically aging into, the, into Medicare, but they're not Medicare age. I see. You know, that's interesting because I under, I just know that, you know, there's so much involved. There's a Part A, there's Part B, there's Part D prescription plan. Absolutely. It's so confusing. Yes. So it's nice to know that someone can come to the office and say, I don't understand this. Can you help me? Absolutely. It's a lot for us to even keep up with. So we don't expect our seniors or our um, disability beneficiaries to understand it all. That's, that's why we're here to help. And it's a free service and yeah. they should absolutely take advantage of. Oh, yeah, that's great to know. Yes. Well, Jennifer, let me tell you something. I've been hearing about this donut hole. Can you tell me about what that means? Well, the donut hole is not as sweet as that donut hole. That's for sure. Um, the donut hole is actually called the coverage gap. Okay. People like to call it the donut hole because you've kind of sunk into this hole, mm -hmm. basically. Um, so what happens is, is every year, um, our Medicare beneficiaries have a Part D plan. Mm -hmm. What happens is, is they start getting their prescriptions filled and those things become costly. Yeah. And then once they have hit a certain number mark, as far as dollar signs go, they then fall into what's called the donut hole, or as I call it, the coverage gap. So then Medicare basically says, okay, we've paid enough, it's your turn to pay out of pocket. And then they have to meet another threshold in order to then fall into what's called catastrophic coverage where Medicare picks back up and says, okay, now we're gonna pay even more towards your prescriptions. Generally that happens closer to the end of the year. So in the middle of the year, people tend to fall into the coverage gap or donut hole, which is not sweet. <laughs> That's right. That's so true. And then I understand that depending on um, enrollment time, a lot of that depends on the type of insurance you have, um, your um, your situation, uh, yes. you know, changes. It does. And, and a lot of it base, is based upon financial um, criteria. You know, we see clients every October 15th through December 7th, which is um, open enrollment for Medicare Part D. But there are times that people fall into situations where they now have a, a new prescription that's not covered by whatever company they have and they then have to pay out of pocket. So we encourage them to then call us and you know, hopefully they qualify for what's called a Medicare savings program, which then allows them to switch their plan outside of the open enrollment period. So we'd like to see them if they have any concerns or any questions about their plans. There are many um, Medicare savings programs out here that can help our clients based upon financial criteria, of course, but that can help pay for their Part D costs, pay for their Medicare Part B, as in boy, costs, which is the hundred and some odd dollars that comes out of their check each month. So that's substantial in putting that back into their um, account. Um, it helps pay their electric bill. It may help in other ways that, you know, maybe we don't have the resources in the county to help with, but if we can help, you know, free up some money other ways, then they can use that money, you know, in the community. Yeah, absolutely. So how would um, someone contact you to find out about 
uh, making an appointment to come Sure. See. Well, I'm located in the Creamer building, which is um, 104 Powell Street. You can give us a call, 410-758-0848, or you could visit us at any of our senior centers. There's always a couple times a month that I go to Graysonville, Sudlersville. There's someone who goes each week to Ken Island Senior Center. So. You know, we're, we are kind of spread out through the county during different times of the month, though. So if you can't make it to Centerville, we can always see you somewhere else. That's great. And yes. I think the most important thing is so that someone's there and they've blocked time to listen to you. It's really important if you can call and make the appointment. Absolutely. I mean, then we can give you the time that you deserve. Yeah, yes. that's great. So, Jennifer, thank you so much. We've learned a lot. And thank we, you for having me. Yeah, and we learned that it's more to this donut hole than we thought. Absolutely. Yeah, and so um, we hope that you will contact the area on aging and make an appointment. There's help for you. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. Thank you.